Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So in this one, I am going to be speaking to you guys about actually purchasing your domain name. Remember in the previous video, I said to you, you have to choose a name first. So let me just go back to that quickly again. My website is going to be called Runs Tech Hub. I actually already purchased this domain and I'm going to be using my domain name to show you how to make the website using WordPress. So that was my name I chose. But how did I actually get it to be mine? How did I actually go out and buy it? Where do I even buy it from? There's no one you need to call to buy it, but if you really wanted to, you could. Let me close this and go back to my first website. So this one is HostGator. And what this does, it actually sells you the domain name and it also allows you to host the website. So what does that mean? The domain name is the name of your company. So, so just like I just showed you, Runs Tech Hub is the name of the um, of my company essentially. So um, my builder in Southeast London, whatever your company name is, that's what you're gonna buy the domain name. That's what that means. To host your website, think about when you host someone at your house, they're allowed to stay at your house, right? So when you host a website, that website is allowed to stay on your computer or your hard drive. So this company or these companies that I'll speak about, they allow you to store or save your website onto their servers, onto their computers so that other people can access it. So that's all it is. They sell you the name so people can actually type in runstechhub.com and they also hold the information. So all the images, pictures, videos, text, everything you put on the website, they will save it for you. So you don't have to have a server in your house, which is going to be stupid expensive for just an average general website, right? That's what that is. The first one is HostGator. I'm going to put this link in the description. It's one of the cheapest ones here in the UK I found. Um, I'm not sure about other places around the world, but I will speak about that later on. HostGator. Choose, read the description and choose a plan that's best for you. They do have a recommended plan, which is the baby plan. Go through this and see if it has all the things that you need for your website. So again, before you do anything, you need to sit down and think about the name of your website and the things you actually need. Now, this is a lot of tech jargon here. So for example, free domain included, that's perfectly fine. That's, a, that's again, the name you want your website to have. Free SSL certificate, a bit of tech jargon there again. All that means is that on your website, you can have this padlock which says your website is secure. This website belongs to X person. You can transfer your details or put your details in here and it won't be compromised by someone else trying to get the data from you. So just go through a few of these things and make sure, if you're not sure what these things are, I would recommend a quick Google, right? I will never be able to speak about every single thing on here. So for example, free SEO tools. SEO is search engine optimization. And what that means, it makes your website easier to find based on keywords. It makes your website a bit faster based on things that they do in the background that you've decided that you want them to do. So that's all that means, okay? All right, so that was the first one. This is the first one, HostGator. The next one, this is one I really, really, really like because when I make websites for people, the thing you don't want as a web developer is people, or just a general IT person, is people constantly coming back to you to ask you the simplest questions in the world. Ionos makes this really, really simple because they never need to come back to me if something, uh, as um, a small thing breaks, right? They can simply call the Ionos num number there and they'll have a 24-hour helpline that helps them. But Ionos is so simple. Their entire website is very simple to use, in my opinion. They have a lot of um, tutorials on a website which guide, guide you through step-by-step step what you have to do. So you don't really have any issues. And again, Ionos does exactly the same thing like HostGator where you can buy the name of your website. This is where I, th where I think I bought mine. And you can also have them hold it for you, have them store it on their servers. So host it. Remember, hosting is where someone can stay in your house. So your website is going to be in their house. It's not technically a house, but that's just my way of explaining it. Hopefully that makes sense. And the next one I have is called Hostinger. Um, there are quite a few. This is just, um, let me just close this one sec. There, um, there are quite a few. I think I use HostGator for my other website. HostGator. This is quite a good one as well. There we go. Let's bring that back as well. So, oh no, that's the same one. Sorry. <laughs> um, in any way, um, this is Hostinger. Does again, more or less the same thing. You can host your website. So save it on this person's or this company's servers and you can get the free domain. So that's the name of the website again. Now, 
if you're not in the UK or if you're in a different country where these are not accessible, which I don't know why they wouldn't be, but that's fine. I've gone ahead and I've Googled here seven best website hosting for UK websites. Now, this is for UK, but let me go back to my um, Google search thing. And if you just change UK to, for example, Jamaica, right? You'll find probably one of the cheapest ones for Jamaica as well. And more than likely, it's going to be one of these top ones. This one, I believe it's in America. Uh, don't quote me on that. Some of these, I believe, are in America. The bigger ones in America would work probably better for Jamaica because if the servers are in America, America is only a short distance away from Jamaica versus if the servers are in the UK, where it's, I think, a 5,000-mile trip to the UK versus um, a couple hundred miles to the US, depending on what state you're going to, obviously. I think from Kingston to Miami, it's like a one-hour, two-hour flight, some, something like that, right? The whole point I'm trying to make is that simply research for your country what's going to be best for you. So I've said hosting, uh, best hosting company, and I've put the name in, Jamaica, UK, um, America, um, Birmingham, which is in the UK, but may, if you want to specify by city because you're like a local builder or a local person, that's fine as well. So this is how you go about looking for where you want to store your website. And again, actually buying the website name, I'm going to review that one more time just, just so that everyone gets it. Step one was to choose the name you want along with the features you think your website should have. But even if you're not sure, the great thing about these services is that let's say I buy this one and I think, oh, I actually want, I don't know, unlimited bandwidth or unmetered bandwidth or something that this one doesn't have. You can always do an upgrade. These companies are never going to say, oh, please don't pay me more money. They'll gladly take your money for the services that you want. Um, so, the, okay, this one has a Cloudflare CDN. So what a CDN is, don't, again, another tech jargon term that you'll never probably hear outside of um, this type of thing. A CDN is a content delivery network. In short, it makes your website faster. That's the easiest way to put it, right? So if loads of people are going to your website, what you don't want is a website to start moving slow. You use a content delivery network to help you with that, okay? I'm going to leave it there, right? So again, to host your website, just like you would host a person come into your house or host a friend for dinner, they would come and be in your space, right? That's what it means to host someone, to host something like a website. Your website is going to be on their servers. Their server is their house. Their server is where they, where they have all their stuff and you can put your website there as well. And the domain name, which where is domain? Uh, yeah, the domain name or the domains, that's the thing, the name of the thing you want to buy. Mine, my domain name is going to be Runs Tech Hub. So I'm actually going to create the Runs Tech Hub website from scratch, showing you guys the entire process that I would follow. And these are the pre, the prerequisites of what I would need to do before I can actually go ahead and make my website. So hopefully that made sense. You need to get one of these before you continue. I've already gotten mine, so it's actually not possible for me to show you. However, if you go through these steps, it's pretty simple. So let's just put in here uh, runs tech hub and I'd click check or search. What it will do, it will check if that name is actually available. Runstechhub.co.uk is available. I know that because I have the .com. So the .co is available. And if you scroll down, the .org is available. Uh, the runstechhub.co.uk is available. It shows you all the different variations of the name, the um, runs tech hub, because I know that runstechhub.com is, um, is already taken. And most of these websites do exactly the same thing. I only show the Ionos one because it's just right there on the main page, which is really, really good. I love this. I don't need to go and look for domains and SSL. I just jump onto the homepage and it's just there for me, which I really like. But all the others do exactly the same thing. Nothing different. It might look slightly different, but it's the same type of information being shown. So after you've decided, okay, I want to buy runstechhub.online that's a weird one i don't like it but let's just say that's the one you want to buy you go to add to basket and then you do continue down here on the other websites it looks more or less the same again here's more tech jargon which you might not understand fully so let me just quickly run through this one email account means that most small companies have have um, like info at runstechhub.com so when someone sends me an email from the website contact page i can reply info at runstechhub.com is the reply you will see ssl certificate again that means the padlock thing here this is a must every single website hosting company if they do not give you an ssl certificate do not use them it's that simple 
when you go onto a website that does not have an SSL certificate, um, I think uh, Blue Griffin doesn't have one. This website does not have one. This is what the person will see. You don't want someone to see this. It is very scary for non-IT people to see this. They will close your website. They will go away. They won't buy anything. They won't try to contact you. If they do try to contact you, they might put the details into the contact form. It's very unlikely, I think, um, but someone could potentially get access to that information. And if it's personal information, which it shouldn't be anyway, never ever send super personal information in emails, then they could get access. But this is ideally not what you want to see because not many people click on um, continue to cite. They'll, they'll see the big blue high highlighted one and click go back, continue to cite. And again, up here it actually says not secure. You don't want this. You must choose um, a hosting provider, a hosting company, whoever, with uh, that gives a free SSL certificate. And if you have a look at this, if I just buy the name alone, which I can do, that's perfectly fine. I can just buy the name and host my website somewhere else. But I like when things are integrated. It's easier for most people to just have one service that does everything. And then that, that's, that's a decent price, one pound a month for 12 months, excluding that. So that's going to be like £1.20 here in the UK. That's not too bad. Um, SSL certificate, 250 gigabytes of storage. This is, a, this is a lot for a website. Like, that's a stupid amount. 250 gigabytes is what most laptops come with, uh, let's say, a couple of years ago, right? That's Most phones don't have 250. Most phones have like 64 gigabytes or 128. So 250 is a hell of a lot. You can put dozens of hours of video on this, thousands of pictures, you have 250 databases. So let's say you're a small company trying to sell stuff. You have 250 databases. You could have them linked. But this is, again, very, very excessive. Scalable performance. This is really a good thing of using these services rather than having your website run on your server at home. Your server is not going to be as scalable. For your server to scale or your PC at home to scale, to accommodate more people, you have to buy more RAM, faster processor, bigger hard drive, with these guys, you just pay them their one pound a month and anything that you need, they'll just give you. And that's it. Leave it there. Right? So you choose a service you want that's more um, tailored to what you think you'll need. You just add to basket. You continue, continue, pay. I, again, I can't show this step because I've already purchased mine, but it's pretty straightforward. And if something does happen that you're not too sure about, the good thing with Ionos and other companies, not just Ionos, I'm only showing Ionos because I like Ionos, right? This is not a recommendation. This is video is not sponsored by them in any single way, shape or form. I just like them. Simply give them a call and they can fix it for you. I actually, stupidly enough, um, I bought Ron's Tech Hub and I left off the T somehow. I don't know how I left off the T. So this is the one I purchased um, a while back and I sent it in my WhatsApp group. My friends realized I was like, where's the T? I'm like, oh my gosh, I left off the T. I left off the T in my own website name. I called them. And they fixed it for me completely free within like half an hour on the phone with them. Everything was done. The next day, I could do what I wanted. So that's one of the reasons I like them, right? The others, I haven't really used them that much. So I cannot speak for them. But look, they have a live chat feature. So you, you can message them. They do have a number as well, which you can call. So more or less the same thing. Uh, where was I next? Yeah, that's it. So I'll leave this one here. This video is only about choosing your domain stroke hosting seller. Domain is the name of your thing, the name of your website, the name of your company, the name of your charity that you want to do. The hosting is uh, the company storing those details on their servers. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. Any questions you have, drop them in the comment section. I'll try my very best to answer them. I'm going to put these four links. So the one for HostGator, the one for Ionos, the one for Hostinger, and the one for just this Google thing I did, right? So I'm, I'll put the one for the UK instead of the one for Jamaica because people watching this are most likely in the UK or America. So I'm going to put that one there. And remember, just change that last word or that last country to, to suit your country best. So if I say, I don't know, Singapore, then again, you'll probably have a nice list of the best ones in Singapore, okay? All right, so thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, and keep watching the series. I hope you find it useful.